osmosis and diffusion. So both are examples of movement at a cellular level and they're both called passive transport. So osmosis occurs when two solutions of different concentrations are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. So water tends to move across the membrane from an area of low concentration to the area of high concentration because remember concentration is the amount of a solute per liter. So think of sugar water or salt water, right? So the salt or the sugar, but let's think salt in this instance, the higher concentration means that it has more salt and water is what is moving in this passive transport. So it wants homeostasis. It wants it to be equal on both sides. So if this area has a high concentration, has a lot, a lot of salt, and this area has a low concentration with no salt, the water is going to move from the area with low salt to the area of high salt so that the area of high salt will lower until both of them are equal because it wants to make that equal homeostasis on both sides. So diffusion, so that was osmosis. Osmosis is water movement. Think H2O, right? So water with the O uses osmosis. Mm -hmm. Now there's something called, called diffusion. So let's think the same thing. We have an area of low concentration and area of high concentration. Now we still want that homeostasis. Here's our high, here's our low. So what actually happens is the area with the high concentration, the particles that it's high in move, not the water. So if the particles are going to move, they're going to move from the area of high concentration to low concentration because it wants to equal that up. So that's diffusion. So let's talk about the characteristics of water. So water molecule is an oxygen molecule with two hydrogens attached to it and therefore it's very polar. Now polar means that one side of this molecule, so you have your O with the two hydrogen, is negatively charged and one side is positively charged. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.